Welcome to Anselm Griffith's Vocational Series in YouTube Tutorials. Today we're back to image processing in MATLAB, my favourite area. So if you just scroll down a little bit, what's the problem? There's our original image and we're trying to pick out the text out of that. Well, the figures at least, the letters might be a bit harder. And this is not easy. One of the problems here is the non-constant illumination. Darker on the left than it isn't the right. So just to say there are some fairly difficult concepts in this. And I will be referring to other videos that I have made to explain these difficult concepts. And one other thing, the image, the intellectual property is MATLAB. So I took it from where the mouse is there. So just to give those lines of credit, I've taken a bit of their stuff out and I've added one or two lines of my own, but the IP is theirs. So let's get going. Uh, we read in the image, convert the grayscale, show it. Right. We run OCR, that's just a command. And there it is, we have results.txt there and results.txt there. And you can see it's not great, it's a bit of a mess. So let's try and improve things here. Uh, we binarize it, we convert it to a, a black and white image in zero and ones. And let's just zoom out a little bit. So there we are, we've lots of rubbish here, you know dots and that's all the non-constant illumination so let's blow that up a little bit again so in this youtube video here uh, there or there i've explained how to remove non-constant illumination using i am top hat and as a matter of fact in the youtube video i explained i am bot hat as well but MATLAB just used the IM top hat, but normally you'd use both, but one will do for the moment. So just zoom out a little again. So you can see that using top hat alone, we've got on the right hand side, constant illumination. So this makes life a lot simpler. Now, next thing is we're going to use I am reconstruct and in my YouTube video there I explain how to use uh, I am reconstruct so we've reconstructed and we showed the before and after okay so a lot better using I am reconstruct in the right Zoom out again, or zoom in again, I should say. So we're now going to run it on the I am reconstruct image. And then the slash D, we're going to ignore the non-digits. So in other words, digits only. Uh, we're going to put bounding boxes uh, using the regular expression. The regular expression is slash D, and slash D is exclude non-digit characters. So we draw the bounding box around there and we show the figure there. So there's our establish, but we're still missing the one, missing the six and missing the zero. So there, and it keeps thinking that's one. And we see even later on when we keep improving and improving, these edges are a problem. So next step in improving is to use the character set, not to nine. So we run it on BW2, excuse me. And then this time we're going to sort them in a descending order of confidence of it being a character. And we're going to dump the NANs. We're going to dump the not a number. So we only want you know actual probabilities left you know numbers we're going to take the top 10 in the confidence or the top 10 most likely 
and we're going to convert that uh, an array to a cell array, uh, put a bounding box around it, and let's have a look. There we are. Not bad at all. Now, let's look at ROIs, region of interest. So we use blob analysis, maximum count of 500. Uh, and we're going to find the connected components. And then down here, we're going to draw a rectangle. In other words, we're going to draw a bounding box around the ROIs, the region of interest. Yeah. Flex. So you can imagine that we're going to do some sort of morphological operation to get rid of those flex. So the morphological, we're going to, we're not going to use uh, a row dot eight, etc. We're going to say areas greater than three hundred. We're going to keep them so zero to three hundred or one to three hundred. I'm going to say we're going to dump. So our region of interest is there with the constraint of 300. So we, it's 300 or more that we're keeping. And put the shape around it, put the bounding box around it, the rectangle, and there we are. So we've sort of picked out more likely ones. Finally, we're going to look at aspect ratio. So this is sort of a a further improvement again. We're going to get the width and the height there. We're going to get the aspect ratio. Excuse me, using dot divide. This is fairly advanced, so I assume you know what dot divide, dot power, and dot multiply is. We're going to keep aspect ratios between a quarter and one. We're going to insert a rectangle around those regions of interest. Show the image. Here we're going to put in a bit of space around it, around the uh, bounding box. And then we're just going to put in uh, around that bounding box there. So we just get the results. So let's go down a little bit. There we are. There it is with the aspect ratio checked. And you can see with the four and the eight, we've just widened it out a little bit, the, the, the rectangle or the bounding box isn't jammed up against the, uh, the the OCR against the character. And apologies if I went a little quick, but I think that's kind of it. And I hope that helps a little. And thanks very much for listening. Bye.